Good morning. It's Thursday, December 31st, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Light Dawns, and our scripture is John chapter 8. Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness, because you will have the light that leads to life. The Pharisees replied, You're making these claims about yourself. Such testimony is not valid. Jesus told them, These claims are valid, even though I make them about myself. For I know where I came from and where I am going. But you don't know this about me. You judge me by human standards, but I do not judge anyone. And if I did, my judgment would be correct in every respect, because I am not alone. The Father who sent me is with me. Your own law says that if two people agree about something, their witness is accepted as fact. I am one witness, and my Father who sent me is the other. Where is your Father? they asked. Jesus answered, Since you don't know who I am, you don't know who my Father is. If you knew me, you would also know my Father. There's undoubtedly a disconnect between knowing about someone and knowing someone. I know a lot about Abraham Lincoln. However, despite what my grandchildren think about how old I am, I never knew him. In the same way, I never knew George Washington, Copernicus, Nero, or Adam. This disconnect between knowing about and the intimacy of knowing is the hinge upon which much misunderstanding hangs, and particularly so in the Church of Jesus Christ. Many people know about Jesus and have read about God. Less know him intimately. The Pharisees were religious leaders, and common sense they should have had an intimate knowledge of God. Yet, Jesus' final words to them in this exchange is an indictment of their religion about God, attempting to replace relationship with God. It speaks of the Pharisees' spiritual blindness, which was at the foundation of why these religious leaders were an ill fit for their job. Everything, literally in matters of faith, is dependent on knowing God intimately. You cannot pray, give, work for, worship, or be a witness in any adequate sense until there is a vital and growing relationship with God. This is first base in having a walk which is worthy of being called a child of God. In baseball, it's elemental to step up to the plate and be ready for the pitcher to throw the ball in your direction. Being ready means you're committed to swinging your bat at the ball to hit it onto or over the playing field. That's the first step in being a hitter, as surely as it is the basic understanding about stepping up to a relationship with God. Just as a player makes himself available to enter the game, one who would begin to know God steps up to the place where God throws the ball of relationship. God did that with Moses calling from a burning bush. Moses stood on holy ground that day. God did it with young Samuel calling him in the middle of the night. Samuel answered, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. All the people we read about in Scripture who got to know God intimately did so because their hearts were open to God's ways and their minds focused on staying ready to be used. Because God does not change in character, it's no different today for you and me. For you today... Getting to know God, and not just about Him, is all about starting with Jesus. He's the one who stands at home plate waiting for your appearance. Knowing God comes from investing your life, past, present, and all eternity, in knowing Jesus. That's when He who is the light of the world will begin to make sense to your heart and soul. You won't be just another Pharisee knowing about God, You'll know him as one friend knows another. So here's the bottom line. It's your turn at the plate. Are you ready? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.